Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jace Matuk. I'm a realtor here in South Florida, and I'm gonna be taking you through some of the nicest homes on the market. Today, we are in Delray Beach to take a look at a luxury waterfront townhouse. Now, before I get started, I just wanna give a shout out to the listing agent. Hi everybody, I'm Jeff Wilson, Douglas Elliman Real Estate. Welcome to 136 McFarland Drive in beautiful Delray Beach. Architect was Richard Jones, built only four years ago by Seaside Builders. Come take a look. You know what, you don't even see this on other people's YouTube channels, right? You see big condos, you see nice homes overlooking the ocean, but you know what you don't see? You don't see luxury townhouses. And I know what you might be thinking, Jason, I've seen a townhouse. What's a townhouse? Uh, 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 uh. You've never seen a townhouse like this before. I'm talking, there's a rooftop terrace, quit with a barbecue area, downstairs pool area, access to boats and a dock if you have a vessel of your own. And then on top of that, we got three stories to climb and then the fourth story is where the terrace is upstairs you know what i've said too much already let's just go take a look inside follow me the first thing you'll you'll notice right away this beautiful staircase a floating staircase with a nice see-through rail going all the way to the top this amazing light fixture dead center the first thing you're going to notice what's this that's right there's an elevator. What do you expect? It's four stories. You're gonna need an elevator to get up and down and then all you do is click the call button and you got an elevator that takes you all the way to the top floor. And then right next to the elevator, you have a true two car garage, two doors in the garage, which is perfect because not only do you have about four car spaces out in front, you have two in here with extra space for tools or whatever you would need or your beach stuff, your surfboard coming through. Right away, there's things to talk about immediately. Laundry room, fully equipped office. This is, a, this is a boss setting. And then right out of this office, full bathroom down here. Full bathroom, perfect for the guests to use or just when you need to take a shower before going upstairs. And then as you come around the corner, this is actually one of my favorite parts. Look what you got. So right over here, you have the living room, the family room. So when everyone comes off, they're just congregating. Oh, wow, what a great adventure, dad. Mom, I love that. That was such a fun time on the boat. That's the kind of conversations that are gonna be happening. And then the perfect thing is, is that right outside, you have a nice patio sitting area. And what's that sound I'm hearing? Nope, that's not boiling water on the stove. That's a pool with jacuzzi jets. You have a full pool in your luxury townhouse. While we're here, let's just go take a proper look at the outdoor area. So as you hop on out, Let's say you're having the party, right? The party's bustling. You just heard it from upstairs. So you come down, you're like, hey guys, what's going on? You know what I would probably do? Throw up a TV on that wall. So while you're in the pool relaxing, got a TV, got the game going. But what I'm trying to say is this is a place where you entertain, you bring the guests in, or you know what? You guys wrap it up here and you head to your boat. Come on. I know you're picturing this. It's like a movie. That was the first floor. Now, as we're coming up to the second floor, one thing that I'd like to notice, look at this. Look at these light fixtures. That, that's gotta be 12 feet tall. It's just the little details like that that brighten up this room. So when you move in here, you need to have stuff like that. Otherwise, it's just not gonna make any sense. So as we come up, we're gonna look at the first official bedroom. So we're gonna cross the elevator access. So as you come into the first room, look at all these windows. The whole wall is windows, a nice outdoor balcony, and not just, you know what, this is a spare bedroom. They just, some people just throw a, a bathroom in. No, 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 no. This is like a prop, like everything is done perfectly. There's a nice reflection off the backsplash under the mirror. The shower is spacious and has its own seat. And then you got a walk-in closet on your right. It's perfect. So as we cross over from the first bedroom, and th this is just something that I would do every single day if I lived here. I would just walk over here and just be like, wow. It's something that you would see in like a New York townhouse. It's beautiful. You have this amazing half bathroom. And listen, th there's a reason I'm saying amazing. A marble stone, wood finish, everything about this. Is that, it looks like it's smiling at me. I think that was on purpose. And then this kitchen is the most inviting, welcoming kitchen. And guess what? Mila oven, nice, beautiful island. And the great thing about the position of this island, it's actually facing the water, the dining room, and the TV room. So one thing I'm a huge fan of is when you can, you can be in the kitchen, you could be eating in the dining room, and it's not like you're leaving the room. If I got my friends over and family eating, I'm, I'm, we're all in this together. I think it's a really great experience to have. 
Mila stove top, of course, and then this hidden Mila vent. And you know this thing has gotta be some money because look, you can't, did you even know there was a vent there until I said anything? In fact, there's the vent, told you. And then it comes across unlimited storage space in the kitchen for your pots and pans. Nice floating bar area. And then quite frankly, the most inviting, entertaining TV room I've seen. So in here, you could just imagine, I'll give you an example of having a good time. You just sit right here and ask me what my problems are. I have very few now. Now this, out of all the dining rooms I think I've seen so far on this channel, even though it's not the most expensive listing, this has gotta be one of the most impressive views because the first thing is, I'm looking at a what's potentially a million dollar yacht, the ocean, my pool area, and then we have all of the most important people here. I should also mention from the outside, it's very hard to see in because the glass is reflective, complete privacy. So right before you comment about, oh, people could see in, watch yourself. Because now we're in a secluded family eating space and the whole mood has been changed. You're welcome. And then to finish off this area, a nice two, three person balcony. So, you know, it's time for a little TV break. It's time to go outside and do outdoor activities. You just go outside, t check on the pool, enjoy the weather, talk about business, and you come back inside and get back to relaxing. All right, then as you're coming up these stairs, really cool see-through glass. All right, guys, I'm going up to the, the, the higher floors. We're gonna have one full bedroom and then the master bedroom. So as we come over here, so we had laundry downstairs and we also have laundry upstairs for obvious reasons and then the elevator access. Then as we're coming in here, we're coming into another guest suite. And this one is almost the same as the one below. So the, the cool thing about this balcony is actually it stretches the length of this unit. And then over here, walk-in closet. So reversed from the one downstairs and then a full bathroom. And this bathroom is actually even bigger than the other bathroom downstairs. And it also has a very beautiful window that you can see outside while you're taking a shower, but no one can see in. So now we're gonna take a look at Best Master Bedrooms Countdown. We're already at number one. Here it is. No need to go look at another video. It leaves me speechless, to say the least. There are so many points I wanna talk about. I wanna talk about the fact that the lighting is something that I've never seen before. It's truly recessed. It has high hats over the tub, a ginormous tub over here, full walk-in shower with a rain head, tons of space for everybody. No one has to get in each other's way. The mirror is backlit, and then a private space for the, back, for the toilet. So as you come on into the main bedroom, you have the main closet on one side, but obviously since this is the primary bedroom, you're gonna have more than one closet. So we come across the king-sized for the royal couple, right? Or just a single bachelor. But we come across and then greeted with a nice private personal balcony, again with the same views, this time only higher. Now I'm looking at the complete inlet. I can almost smell the ocean. No, I can definitely smell the ocean from here. And then another closet just on the other side. So you got his and hers, or his and his, or hers and hers. Who knows? Who knows what the deal is? So right off of the closet is a nice sitting area overlooking the balcony. And the best part is, is what I do every time I get to a floor is I look at the pool. I enjoy the fact that I can have a pool in my private townhouse. And then there's another balcony. So in here you have two separate balconies. Again, throughout the entire house, all these shades are automatic, controlled with remotes. Listen, you've seen, you've seen downstairs, you've seen upstairs, you've seen it all, but you know what you haven't seen yet? I didn't get a chance to show you the rooftop. So as we're coming up from the main suite, we're gonna head up. This is obviously where the elevator reaches its max. And we're gonna go take a look at the terrace. <sighs> Just take a minute. Just take a minute to enjoy this. The dining area, the seating area, perfect for entertaining some dancing, if you will. A nice barbecue area, complete with fridge, sink, lounge chairs. And then this is where, this is where grandfathers tell their grandson stories. This is where fathers, mothers pass on lessons to their children. This is where you come and you talk about the deal that's gonna buy you this kind of place. So I think this is a great place to end this tour. And again, my name is Jason Matuk. I just want to give another shout out to Jeff Wilson, the listing agent for this property, and my company, Douglas Elliman.